All right, guys, on today's agenda, we're gonna do some driving, we're gonna do some fueling, we're gonna drive some more, drop and hook, and drive yet some more. Stay tuned. having some sweet potatoes, some salmon, and um, zucchini. Getting ready to uh, head out of here in about mm, 10 minutes. Basically, as soon as I'm done eating and I take my trash out, we can, uh, we can roll. Uh, going through some comments. One of my favorites. <laughs> so, some of you people Man, I don't know, man. Some of y'all are rude. I mean, I'm rude right now because I'm eating on camera. I'm trying to multitask. I love those kind of stripes on the peats. Look at Tyler. I love those. I would not mind for a minute putting some stripes on Tyler. I might do it one day. I don't know. Right now, the next in the plans is to get that frame sandblasted and painted up. But we, we might send Tyler into the body shop too and get painted. We'll see. All in good time. Alrighty, alrighty. It's time to get that show on the road. Got a fresh eight hours on our clock. Weather is beautiful. Currently 77 degrees. Absolutely beautiful. It's 27 when I went to bed. That's like crazy. It's a crazy jump in temperature. Oh my gosh, I left my soda back there. If I start driving with my soda back there, oh my man, there'd be problems. Oh my gosh. Problems. So we're starting our day just outside of Bliss, Idaho. We are at the uh, rest area that is west of there. And uh, we're going to fuel in Boise. So that will be our next stop. And uh, well, let's make it happen, Captain. I'm just gonna drive, drive, drive.
right, guys, four thirty-five a gallon. Uh, with our discount, we're at three eighty-six a gallon. I believe it was. Maybe it's three eighty-three. I don't remember nothing. Uh, looks like we got a hundred and three gallons. So I'll do the math real quick. See what we got for fuel mileage. Let's check and see. Uh, uh, my spring's still holding up for a second there. I thought it was a little low. No, we're good. That's where it should be. But yeah, we'll do the math. See uh, how Tyler did on miles per gallon. Pretty windy here today. Been windy all the way, actually. All right, we just did the math. Tyler got 6.3 miles per gallon from Laramie, Wyoming to Boise, Idaho. We got six hours, 49 minutes left on our clock. A whole lot of driving to do. We are aiming to make it to Seattle today. Well, technically Auburn, general vicinity of Seattle. Get this trailer kicked off, get our empty, and uh, book it on down that road. I'm gonna put some cream in my coffee here real quick, and then uh, I guess we'll get back at it. As you can tell, I gave up on the Fillmore cup. It just doesn't keep that coffee warm. I swear, like probably within an hour, that coffee's pretty cold. So we went back to Old Faithful here. Keeps our coffee warmer a lot longer. This almost smells like a cinnamon coffee. I think it said it was like a bourbon. Should be interesting. Oh no, I dropped my cap. Ooh, it's hot. There we are. A little swishy swishy. My food does not rotate around in this microwave while my popcorn. Hopefully it's all right. Well, I burnt my popcorn. 
it also didn't fully pop so um, which is weird because I've made popcorn in the other trucks before and they were fine but uh, I guess this microwave because of its size does not allow the bag to turn properly oh that stinks we're gonna go throw this way outside that sucks because I wanted to eat popcorn but uh yeah I didn't, didn't pop it right so I need to maybe get a bigger microwave if I want to do popcorn I think Burnt popcorn be gone! Alright guys, well, we're just finishing up a 30 minute break here. We're at a rest area on cabbage. A lot of people are asking how cabbage gets its name or why is it called that. I have absolutely no idea. Uh, Google's probably your friend on that one. I just know it's what it's called. And that's where we're at. <laughs> so we are about um, 300 miles away from Siva. So that should take us probably about four and a half, five hours to get there. Um, not anticipating anything that's going to delay us. So I think we're good there. And. Um, we're just gonna keep making our way through the night, the nightness of the night, the darkness of the night. Yeah, my brain, man.
That was absolutely horrible and it also took me a good 16 minutes 16 minutes wiggling it in here why well probably because I'm a girl and somebody on the internet's gonna tell me they're better at it than me but also I know my camera, don't be fooled. It's gonna make it look like there's like a mile here, but in reality, there isn't. I mean, for me in that box truck, there's probably about that box truck's length. But when you got a 53 foot trailer, it's not a lot of maneuvering space. But that's cool if you can do it better. You should come work at SIVA and come to this yard. And you should make a YouTube channel. guys let's find an empty and yes we do get paid for empty moves always go to the new ones first all right you don't got no lock on you see if you're empty because if you are you're all mine Well, are we locked in? There's no lock. I'm taking it. I'm taking it. You guys got a flashlight? Oh, thank you. So, looks like it's been through some stuff, but it hasn't been through some stuff. You know what I mean? You know, like weather. It's been through some weather, but it don't look like it's been through hell and back, per se. So, we are going to take this guy. We're going to put a little smiley face on him. We're good to go. Let's hook up. That one is mine.
I have been here way too long and I'm gonna be here even longer because I gotta walk back to the trailer I brought in and put a note which I've written on a napkin because I do not have paper in my truck. Mental note, buy a notebook to keep in the truck for times like this. Anyway, they asked me to put a note on the trailer saying that it has the uh, damaged airlines when I called it in. Uh, so in case they don't get the message, I guess. So I've done the best I can, which is a napkin. Hopefully it won't rain tonight. <laughs> and I'll put it where you hook up and uh, yeah, hopefully they get the memo. We'll see. Where did I park this thing? I parked it way down here. All right, there's our note. Broken Springs trailer, airlines under trailer. <laughs> Sleep tight. All right, back to our regularly scheduled program. I gotta put up the landing gear, kick out the, uh, the wedge. Man, I forgot what those are called. You guys gotta forgive me, it's 4 a.m. here. I'm ready for bed. Uh, I think that's it, pull it out from the dock. Close the doors, yada, 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 yada. I gotta get out of here too before somebody shows up. It's like, I'm loading that trailer, wait. I had that happen the first time I was here. I hooked up to a trailer over here and the guy showed up and he was having a fit. didn't see is there's another SEVA truck uh, immediately to my right so I couldn't go out the exit gate but luckily for me this guard does not discriminate and he's letting me out this way <laughs> oh my goodness I gotta hop out and close my door still I didn't close it because that other truck was there in the way tight tight quarters here We made it. We did. We made it. And um, I'm surprisingly doing well. It's uh, five in the morning. And uh, yeah, I guess I had a 12 hour work day today. It's all good. The only thing that's not good is the fact that that restaurant over there does not open till 8 a.m. I'm not gonna stay up that long. So I went into the gas station and got some donuts. So my dinner tonight <laughs> is donuts because the way this works for me, I have dinner for breakfast and breakfast for dinner, something like that. Weird hours, but I can't change my eating habits. I, I just can't do it, unless it's chicken fried steak. I can eat chicken fried steak and eggs like all day long, like nobody's business. But anyway, we will go there to have um, dinner for breakfast when we get up which being that's 5 a.m. right now that'll be about 3 p.m. and then we're gonna make our way back home so thank you guys so much for watching and uh, we will catch you on the next one pick it up pick it up pick it up pick it up you see the drip, yeah, I fit it up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drip, yeah, I fit it up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. I've been on the flex since flex on.